Is Atlantis Real? by Allison Lassier. What is Atlantis? Long ago, there was a story about a beautiful city called Atlantis. It was on a huge island. It had tall walls. In the middle was a huge temple made of gold and silver. It was filled with hundreds of golden statues. The island was rich. They had good crops. For years, the people lived in peace. The temple of Atlantis was surrounded by rings of water. The stories say Poseidon was the first ruler of Atlantis. In the story, Atlantis belonged to the god Poseidon. He fell in love with a human woman named Cleito. They had 10 sons. The sons were part God and part human. Each son ruled a part of Atlantis. They were strong, beautiful, and smart, and they had many children, and the city grew. Many years passed. The people of Atlantis started a war, and Poseidon was not happy. So one day, he made an earthquake, hit Atlantis. The land shook, a huge volcano erupted, and only one day, the island sank under the water. Since then, people have told the story of Atlantis. Most people think it's a myth, but others say it could be true. That's a rough volcano. This statue of Plato stands in Greece. It is near a school he started called the Academy. And we know about Atlantis because of Plato. Plato was a great thinker from ancient Greece. He heard the story of Atlantis and wrote it down. He said it was real. People were amazed by the stories of gold and wealth. Was Plato right about Atlantis? No one could prove it, but maybe he based the story on a real city. The story of Atlantis is very old. It was told many times, but it became popular in the late 1800s. Atlantis showed up in novels. A man named Ignatius Donnelly had many ideas about the lost city. He wrote a book. He said the people of Atlantis were very smart. He said the island was in the Atlantic Ocean. Many people read his book. People are fascinated by the mysteries of ancient cities. Many people have looked for Atlantis. Other ancient cities have been lost too. Some of them are now deep under sea. Marine archeologists look for lost cities in the ocean floor. They may find parts of buildings. They may find pieces of art and pottery. One of these underwater cities could be Atlantis. This is an image of a scuba diver exploring ruins in a lake in Italy. In 1900, an archeologist found a real lost city. Sir Arthur Evans dug at a site on the island of Crete. He found ancient ruins. There were beautiful palaces and buildings. The people who lived there must have been smart, powerful, and strong. Evans named them, called them the Minoans. Plato could have based the story of Atlantis on these people. These are ruins on the island of Thera. Minoans lived there. Why was the Minoan city in ruins? Miles away was an island called Thera. Minoans had a city there too, near a huge volcano. Around 1500 BC, it blew apart. It shook the earth. Ash filled the air. A big chunk of Thera sank into the ocean. The eruption made a tsunami that was so big it reached Crete and the Minoans were destroyed. A tsunami creates waves that can destroy towns near oceans. Heliki was an ancient Greek city. A huge earthquake and tsunami destroyed it. It sank into a swamp. But parts of the city stuck up out of the water. Over the years, the water filled with silt. The silt buried everything. Heliki was forgotten. Scientists found it in 2001 but they did not find it underwater. They found it underground. This is the ruins of Heliki, which were found underground in Southern Greece. 
Another lost city was found in Spain in 2011. It was underwater in a park. The lost city has walls like Atlantis. In 2012, scientists found something underwater near Scotland. It was an area where many people once lived. Some people thought it could be Atlantis, but Spain and Scotland are far from Greece. Plato may not even have heard of them. This is a swampy park in Spain that covers a lost city. Wouldn't it be weird to find out that the park you hang out in covers a lost city? Well, there's no real proof that any lost city was Atlantis. Today, most people do not believe the story. They don't think Atlantis was real. Other people think part of Plato's story might be true. He might have heard about a real city. Plato could have used some real facts and made up others. So far, no lost city matches all the facts in Plato's story. Here, people built fake ruins of Atlantis so and tourists can visit the Hotel Atlantis in Dubai. There's a stingray. Two lost cities are more likely than others. One is Thera, but Plato said Atlantis sank 9,000 years before he wrote the story. The volcano, volcano at Thera blew up thousands of years later. Maybe Plato got the date wrong. The other is Haliki. It was destroyed by an earthquake and tsunami in 373 BC. Plato was alive then, so maybe he based his story on this town. Here's a picture of some Minoan art that was found on a wall in Thera. Imagine art surviving all those years. Plato's Atlantis was a great city. If it was real, it would be amazing to find it. Today, archaeologists can use new tools. Sonar can find objects deep in water. Satellites in space take pictures of Earth's, the Earth's surface. Archaeologists try to match the pictures to Plato's story. But so far, Atlantis is still a mystery. Wouldn't it be cool if Atlantis was real? What do you think? Do you think it's real? Why don't you let us know? See if your parents will go onto our Facebook page and leave a note under this video and let us know what you think. Have a good day.